During the COVID pandemic, it wasn't uncommon to see events canceled to avoid spreading the virus. Event organizers had to determine whether a breach occurred and who had to bear the sunk costs from the canceled events. We'll see in Hanford v. Connecticut Fair Association that this is a problem that event organizers have dealt with for over a century. Walter Hanford and the Babyland Amusement Company, which we'll refer to collectively as Hanford, contracted with the Connecticut Fair Association to create a baby show at the county fair. Hanford managed, promoted, and provided prizes for the show, while the association provided the venue and paid Hanford a few hundred dollars. Shortly before the show was scheduled to occur, there was a citywide outbreak of polio, a serious and often fatal disease that typically affected babies and young children. Believing that the disease posed a danger to potential contestants, the association notified Hanford that it wished to cancel the contract. The contract was subsequently canceled. Hanford sued the association for breach of contract in the Connecticut Court of Common Pleas. In its answer to the complaint, the association explained that holding such a show under the circumstances would be against public policy. Hanford filed a demurrer, or objection, arguing that the public policy concerns were irrelevant when determining the association's obligations under the contract. The trial court overruled the demurrer. Hanford appealed to the Connecticut Supreme Court.